Earlier today, Nintendo posted the official teaser postcard for the new, and potentially final city track, Madrid Drive. It shows Mario and Luigi eating traditional Spanish cuisine at the Plaza Mayor in Madrid. Thanks to Coupe V, we did know that the Plaza Mayor would be included in the course prior to the official announcement. However one thing that this postcard doesn't reveal is that there are actually Wigglers in the Plaza Mayor. Here is a leaked picture of one Plaza Mayor Wiggler. We can also see the Puerto del Sol in the background. Another thing to note about this teaser is that Madrid Drive will take place in the daytime. Now while this may seem anticlimactic for what is the potential final Mario Kart or Nitro, especially considering it's not like we've had plenty of daytime cities before, but based off of other things that Koopa V has leaked, I think this will be the perfect final city. Aside from Plaza Mayor, let's talk about some of Madrid's famous landmarks that may be included in the course. Starting with the famous Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. This football stadium allegedly has a brand new obstacle for the Mario Kart series, being the Q-Ribo Shoe Goombas. I'm interested to see how they will work. Another famous landmark I'd like to see is the Gran Via. This is like the most famous street in Spain, so it makes sense for it to appear in Madrid Drive. Another place I would like to see in Madrid Drive is Puerta de Alcalá. This monument just screams gliding section. Speaking of gliding sections, according to Koopa V there's a gliding section in which you glide over the whole city, so that sounds interesting. And one final obvious thing I'd like to see is Retiro Park, it's a very well-known park in Madrid. Overall, Madrid Drive seems to be an interesting city track. But will it be a good finale? We will have to wait and see. So, if the leaks are true, Mario and Friends' latest karting adventure may be coming to a close. As Yo-Yo, who may or may not have inspired this section, put it, we have completed our tour of the world in this game, and that our next destination would of course be home, and that I think really sums it up nicely. 14 city tracks, as well as 7 non-city tracks, with 21 tracks in total, it's fair to say this game delivered us well. Now as the world tour comes to a close, I think that wave 6 will happen, and then we will be done with new Mario Kart content for this generation. The Switch didn't even have its own Mario Kart game and we got more content than usual. It has been a fun ride, for sure, but I think now, if past patterns are to be taken note of, the next Mario Kart game will be on Nintendo's next home console. As for now, it appears that Mario Kart Tour is beginning to take its final steps. Who knows what the future will hold?